Gate, let's quickly return uh, to our guest, Hassan al Hamalawi, who's a journalist with the Revolutionary Socialists in Cairo. Uh, obviously, uh, a major crisis for the government now. How much of a bind does it put the government in, having to maneuver between the constraints that are placed on it by the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces and the people's demands? Well, uh, Prime Minister Hassan Sharaf, who himself is a member uh, or a former member of the National Democratic Party, if he had proven anything, he has proven to, to us over the past month that, number one, he's inept, he's inefficient, and that he's actually collaborating with the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces in order to stifle this revolution, not necessarily to advance it. I know that some people have regarded him as a victim uh, of the Supreme Council and that the guy really or means well, but it's those bad army generals that are holding him back. But I'm afraid that's a very naive way to look at it. And also, if you bring me tomorrow as a prime minister, you know, I mean, for this country, I wouldn't be able to do anything except perform my own role as a puppet for the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces. So in my view and in the view of many of other uh, uh, of my colleagues who are right now uh, in Tahrir Square and elsewhere here in Egypt, we have to get rid of those army generals first. And then you can talk about democracy. You can talk about forming a cabinet. But even if his cabinet gets dissolved today and you form another cabinet tomorrow, while the same corrupt army generals are still running the show, I don't think that this cabinet would be able to do anything that's positive for this revolution.